Hi, thanks for watching Parks in Your Pocket. My name is Dave, and in this video I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, I want to talk to you all about how I feel when I can't fit on rides and then I have to make an early exit. Um, my recent efforts to lose weight and kind of failing on that part. And a new series of videos that I'm going to be starting today uh, to try and help motivate myself to lose weight. This is just going to be kind of a heart-to-heart -heart video of mainly just me talking, so if that doesn't appeal to you, uh, you feel free to skip it. You're not going to hurt my feelings. If you are interested in learning a little bit about me and my motivations for wanting to lose weight, uh, please, by all means, enjoy this video. Please feel free to comment down below with any questions or concerns, or just if you want to tell me how you relate to uh, what I'm saying. Uh, it really does help me to to know that I'm I'm connecting with you guys. So if you saw my recent video about the new Hagrid's motorbike adventure ride, you know that I wasn't able to ride it and I had to make an early exit from that ride. Um, there are several rides at Universal Studios that I've never been able to fit on and I've waited through long queues for several rides and had to walk away disappointed on several occasions. It's never a fun experience to make an early exit, uh, especially when there's a very long wait time. Um, and it lets a little bit extra, a little bit extra wind out of your sails when you get into line, pretty much knowing you're not going to fit and pressing your luck and really just hoping you are able to fit once you get to the end of the line. When you try and you fail, and you have to make an early exit and you leave with a crowd of people that are all laughing and happy for having been able to ride the ride. Uh, it's, it's never a good feeling. But don't feel bad for me. This isn't really a pity party video. This is just me kind of explaining uh, what's going on in my head. I put myself through these experiences and make early exits, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do when I get into the queue try and get footage of rides and show you guys, especially people coming from really far away and trying to plan their trip, what to expect when you get into that queue. So I know what I'm getting into when I get into the queue, but again, it's never a, a fun experience to not be able to ride the ride. It's very easy to beat yourself up when you're too big to fit on a ride, but it's a, it's a very slippery slope because I could go and try and fit on a ride and feel bad and then go home and oh, be like, oh, well, I'll just have this ice cream to feel better. Or, oh, I don't feel like going out today because, you know, I'm kind of in the dumps. But that's a really negative way to look at it. And uh, it doesn't make me feel better about myself. Um, and if you're going through that, maybe together we should try and change our, change our perspective. I do this a lot, and I'm not immune to those feelings. I definitely think that it's a very negative outlook to have, and I'd much rather try and use those feelings for motivation to lose weight and for motivation to get healthier and for motivation to, uh, to be able to ride these rides. From all the great comments and all the discussions that I've had with viewers and people in the parks, I get the feeling that I'm not alone in feeling this way and that if I share my story and the efforts that I go through, I might help motivate other people to, to take the same steps. So I'm starting a series, a video series, about what I'm doing to lose weight and, and to get healthier and to get on those rides. I have a video that I recorded a while back where I do all my measurements and I show you all the important measurements for trying to get on amusement park rides. Um, that's, a, that's kind of an old video. So uh, I'm going to be putting that information on my new ride review videos. So you'll have height and weight and anything that's kind of a tight fit. I'll put more information on those videos of to, you know, of my size and my my like belt size and size around my hips and stuff. Uh, just try and give you guys more information in context for those rides. Especially if I lose weight and I'm able to ride a ride that I've never been able to ride before. 
This is obviously going to be a lot of extra work for me. So if this is something that you guys think you'll appreciate, please just leave me a comment and just let me know. Um, you know, sometimes I'm, I feel like I'm making videos in a vacuum. If you can let me know when I do something that you appreciate, it definitely will help keep me motivated and let, make me go that extra mile to try and do that more. So Jill and I recently went on a cruise, and there's all kinds of food on a cruise. And you, you know what, I just stopped, stopped caring and um, got really complacent as far as trying to not gain weight, and I gained like 30 pounds. I am 380 pounds right now, which is 172 kilograms for all the metric people out there. Um, and that's kind of got me to the point where I just want to really get motivated to lose the weight again. Um, in 2015, like 2014, 2015, I was doing a ketogenic diet and I lost like 100 pounds. And so far I've gained 70 pounds back. So it's time for me to make a change and start losing weight again. So starting out, my plan is to make weekly vlog videos where I'll just take clips from each day of the week, compile them into one video, and put them out every week on Wednesday. I'll try and do my best to give you guys some updates on any kind of exercise or any kind of things I do, uh, or any struggles that I had throughout the week, how I'm feeling. Uh, just try and give you guys some information as to how my process has been working out. And since my goals are kind of centered around being able to fit on rides at Universal Studios, I'm going to be making attempt videos at certain weight thresholds. So after I lose a certain amount of weight, uh, let's say like 20, 25 pounds, I'll go and I'll attempt all the rides that I haven't been able to ride until I'm able to ride all of them. My diet plan is I'm going to be drinking keto chow meal replacement shakes for 30 days. Just only keto chow. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, I'm going, I've done all the math. It makes it simple for me to be able to get the right number of calories and know that I'm going to be doing the ketogenic diet correctly. Um, after that 30 days is up, then I will start, you know, having like regular meals at night and, and try and keep the weight loss going. If you have any questions about the ketogenic diet, just comment down below with any questions or concerns, and I'll do my best to respond to them and answer any questions that you have. I have done keto before and I was extremely successful with it, but I got lazy and I kind of fell off the wagon and I'm just getting back on the wagon now. And since Keto Chow makes it really simple to uh, do everything correctly and not, sh not screw up, uh, it makes a lot of sense for me to try and simplify the whole process. And the folks at Keto Chow were actually nice enough once I talked to them and told them what I was going to be doing and that I was going to be making a video series about it, um, that the 30 day challenge kind of thing, that they gave me a discount code to be able to share with you guys. Uh, it's Parks in Your Pocket 10. It'll get you 10% off of your first order of Keto Chow from ketochow.xyz. That's their website. If you're interested in trying this or you are looking for just a simple, easy way to stay on a, on a ketogenic diet, Keto Chow is definitely very good. I, I highly recommend it. Um, now, I... I'm not getting any kind of kickback from this. There's a possibility that if enough people order Keto Chow using the coupon code, that uh, we will become an affiliate. But right now, I'm just telling you guys that I am doing this because I like that product. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully you guys do too if you give it a shot. If you do try Keto Chow, please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you thought of it. Um, I, I really enjoy it and it makes things really simple for me. Well, that pretty much covers everything right now. Um, next week, you can expect a video that covers all my measurements from right now. And then I'm going to put all that information in the next video, which will be out next Wednesday. Um, if you're interested in seeing more videos from the channel, more Big and Tall Ride reviews, 
just more content from Parks in Your Pocket, please remember to subscribe if you liked the video, this heart to heart video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can always give it a thumbs down too. That gives, sends me a message and tells me whether you like something that I'm doing or you don't like something that I'm doing. Hopefully I've done a good job of kind of explaining my motivations here. Um, and if you have any comments or questions or concerns, just reach out to me. I respond to all the comments that I get. And, um, well, I guess thank you for watching. And, um, Hopefully this hasn't been too somber or weird of a video. Uh, sorry if, if it was. Um, so thank you for watching Parks in Your Pocket. My name is Dave, and I'll see you again real soon.